Welcome back to Upside Down Data. Let's talk about Link and how high it could realistically go in a bull market. So Link is an asset that a lot of people are bullish on, and there's been a lot to be bullish about recently, both in terms of just its fundamental developments, but also its price action. It was one of the first movers in this rally and has performed quite well. But then the question is, if we're entering into a full bull market, how high could Link realistically go? I think most people, or at least most Link bulls, would hope that it can clear easily above its prior all-time high at around $54. But then how much further could it go? Could it go up to 100? Could it go up to 200, 300? How high do we think this should go? So there are gonna be a bunch of different people out there giving all sorts of random different predictions. I like to take a data-driven approach to think about what is realistic. You know, I got my PhD, I'm kind of a data driven person. That's the way I like to look at it. So if you've watched some of my previous videos, I'm going to do something similar with Link, where we're going to use a machine learning and simulation based approach. So to get into that here, the first step of this approach is to build a machine learning based model to predict the price of Link at a given point in time. And so this model takes in three inputs, the price of Bitcoin, price of Ethereum, and time as being the three inputs. So you can see it does a reasonably good job of giving at least a rough idea of where Link's price should be at a given point in time, at a given ETH price, at a given Bitcoin price. And the reason why we care about Bitcoin and ETH price as being predictors is that they are the big barometers of the market. And generally speaking, if you know how Bitcoin and Ethereum are doing, you can give a pretty good idea of how some other asset in the crypto space is doing because it tend to be so heavily correlated. So a similar idea plays out here as well. So now that we have this model, what we can do is we can give it different scenarios. We can basically say, given some date, given some Bitcoin price and given some ETH price, where would we expect Link's price to be? So we can feed it, for example, more bullish scenarios. Like for example, imagine that we're in early 2025, Bitcoin's price is up at 200,000, ETH's price is at 20,000. So a pretty decent move in a bull market. And then Link's predicted price at that would be 182, a little bit above that dollars. But then in a more bearish scenario for a bull market, where let's imagine that we're in late 2024, Bitcoin's price is at 80,000, ETH's price is at 9,000, then we'd expect the Link's price to just be at $47. But as I've talked about in previous videos, how do we know if this is the right combination of factors to look at? We don't know where Bitcoin's price exactly is going to be in a bull market, or ETH's price is exactly going to be, or what date we might expect the top of the bull market to form. So the answer is we don't try to pick specific combinations ourselves. What we do is we use a simulation approach where basically we take ranges of realistic values for the different inputs. So for example, with Bitcoin, I think most people would think that the top of the cycle is probably gonna be somewhere in this general range between the prior all-time high and about five times the all-time high for Bitcoin. Same with Ethereum, that's round about its current all-time high price versus about six times that, somewhere in between there. And for dates, if history is any guide, we'd expect the bull market to end somewhere in this general range between mid-2024 and mid-2026. So the idea then is now that we have these realistic ranges of inputs, we don't know exactly which one is right to be picking, so we just randomly sample. We just randomly select a Bitcoin price, an ETH price, and a date in these ranges, and then we just say, what is the predicted link price given that combination? And we just do it over and over and over again. We do it 10,000 times, record the predicted link price each time. And that gives us a distribution where we can look at what is the average predicted price given the different combinations that we look at these 10,000 times. What is the average? What is the median, for example? So let's go ahead and dive into the data a bit more here. So these are the overall results that I'm going to show you here. So the first thing I'm showing you here is the average predicted price for Link, and that is $284, not too bad, given that we're currently trading at around $16. That's looking pretty nice. Median is similar, it's a little bit lower, and that's because there's some outliers, we'll see that in a minute here, there's some outliers that are skewing the mean up a bit, but still nice, 218. And then we can also look at more extreme values. So I decided to show percentiles here just because the most extreme values aren't really all that useful. So basically the idea is with the fifth percentile, only 5% of the simulations fell below $32.3 for Link. And then the 95th percentile, only 5% fell above 770. So this gives you an idea of what the range is. 90% of the simulations fell between these two values is another way that you can look at this. So let's go ahead and look at the actual distribution and see what that looks like as well. So what we can see is it's quite a skewed distribution. Basically, there are some pretty extreme bullish scenarios where Link's price could get quite high. But again, these are unlikely, not very many simulations actually got out here. So that's why I was showing you before 
for example, the fifth percentile and the 95th, they kind of cap it and look at where the vast majority, 90% sit. So here we have the median value, again, about 218, and then here we have the mean a bit above that. But in either case, whether you're using median as your measure of central tendency, so that's just the middle price, or mean being the average, it's still looking pretty nice. So let's go ahead and put this into perspective. Let's go back to the price chart and see where would these predicted values actually get us in terms of returns from current prices. So here we currently trade at around $16.5. Let's go ahead and just do some measurements. So we go up to 218 roughly here. That's about a 1200% move to the upside for Link quite nice. So I think these are pretty nice moves. This is not a bearish outlook in my opinion at all. That is quite nice return, especially for an asset that's already relatively large in its market cap like Link. More beyond that though, whatever the specific value is, because again, there were a bunch of those simulations that fell even above those values, so it could go even higher. I think the bigger picture to take away from this is that they're clearly above the prior all-time high in terms of what the average and the median were. So it's a reasonable expectation very clearly from this that Link would set in a new all-time high in a full bull market. I think that's a very reasonable thing to say that this is probably gonna be beat. And then it's just a question of how much it gets beat by going forward. So if the more expectation is it around that kind of $218 level, but again, a number of the simulations fell even higher. So it's not to say that those are by any means impossible. So the reason I like to do these types of analyses is I think that helps ground us in what is realistic because in a full bull market, people get a bit delusional about assets all the time. Not just, I'm not just saying that's only going to happen for a link. It's going to happen with everything. You're going to have people saying that Bitcoin's going to a million or higher than a million. You're going to have people saying Ethereum's going to over a hundred thousand. There's going to be crazy price predictions that are out there. And I suspect the same thing will happen with link. People will say that $10,000 link is incoming, something like that. And these analyses help to ground us and think what is more of an, a reasonable expectation. And it's not to say that those expectations have to be exactly right. Again, the simulations have a range, but a general hypothesis, a general idea of where we might expect things to be in a couple of years, for example, in a full bull market. And that can help us to ground us and something that we can just look back on and think, okay, if everyone's calling for a $100,000 link or something, is that reasonable based on what we know? This is a probably not, that's an extreme prediction. 10,000 link and even a thousand dollar link is a pretty extreme prediction from these simulations, though that was actually a possibility within these simulations. But that's just why I like this. As I mentioned before, I like to be data driven to see what do the data suggest is a likely scenario. And this seems much more realistic than what those kind of predictions will be. And you better believe those are coming in a full bull market assuming that's what we're going into. So obviously not financial advice. You should make your own opinions about this data and what to make of it. So if you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like and follow us on X. A lot of updates about our models and more over there. And if you want to see live data from our models and more, you can go to our website, clarity Link is in the description.